Hi guys, so Jeremy Corbyn supporter and former MP Laura Piddock was interviewed by the BBC about Keir Starmer's speech to the Labour conference. Now I've said this before, if you look at the Tories, none of the infighting is made public. It's all done behind closed doors. It happens, but we never see it. While in the Labour Party, you have former MPs and even current, M current MPs attacking the leader of the party at the frigging conference. Starmer is the leader now. You have to get behind him if you want to defeat the Tories. The same was the case, was the case when Corbyn was the leader back in 2019, and the party should have got behind him. Anyway, let's hear what Laura Piddock had to say. It was long, wasn't it? It was a long speech. Um, look, he hasn't, he hasn't been able to give a speech in front of people for a long time, but I didn't think that was his moment. I thought it was quite uninspiring. Uh, we thought there might be some kind of olive branch to members of the party. Um, I think Angela's standing here as some kind of tactic to make me say something different, and I won't. Okay, that was really weird. Um Look, it's okay for me on the outside to criticise, but you are in the inside. You have to support the leader. Your objective should be, we need to win the next general election. We need to get, all get behind Keir Starmer. If he fails, then he will be replaced and then we will get behind the next person. Maybe it'll be Jeremy Corbyn again, or maybe it's somebody uh, of, that, uh, of that type. But for the, for the moment, you have to get behind the leader. You have to put your differences aside and say, this is the person we need to support in order to get Boris Johnson out. That should be the objective. Um, I didn't really hear many commitments in his speech. Um, and and that's disappointing because there is a, a crisis face and work. Laura Pidcock, can I ask you, what did you think of those heckles during Keir Starmer's speech? Yeah, well, as I said to you just before, I think there is discontent amongst the membership. There were people heckling him about his sick mother. He had just given comments about his sick mother and people were heckling him about that. That's unacceptable. Look, even if Boris Johnson was doing it, I would not heckle Boris Johnson in regards to that. I'd heckle Boris Johnson about Brexit, about other things, things that he's been in control of. But about something personal like that and when it affects someone who's not Boris Johnson directly, then, you know, it's not acceptable to do that. And that sometimes spills out into those important moments. Heckling just after Keir Starmer had talked about his mother was gravely ill in hospital and heckling after that? Yeah, well, I mean, that wouldn't be appropriate. I didn't, I didn't experience that in the hall. I, I didn't know that that had happened. Did you, you were at the conference you heard the heckling, surely. You heard what he was saying. He had to stop. He had to respond to the hecklers. Was Laura Piddock asleep or something at the time? Of course, I share an experience with him. Um, my own father was also in intensive care. So, I, you know, I connect with him. I connected with him in that moment. But, yeah, members feel deeply aggrieved about yeah. how they've been treated. Thank you. Just one thing I want to highlight here. Um, is at number 12 you can see here it says Laura Piddock MP no she's not an MP and she shouldn't actually be trying to give advice to Keir Starmer because well she lost her seat she's not an MP anymore you can see here her constituency of uh, Northwest Durham was held by the Labour Party since 1950 well that changed in 2019 and you can see here um you know, it was a pretty safe seat in 2015, before uh, last held by Pat Glass, had a majority of 10,000. Uh, when Laura Piddock took over, she won the seat in 2017. Uh, the majority dropped to 8,000. And then in 2019, um, the Conservatives won with a 1,000 vote majority. So I don't think Laura Piddock should be giving advice to Keir Starmer. But as I said before, you can have your differences, but they must be held within the party. They must be behind closed doors. Because when you undermine Keir Starmer in public, who do you help? You help Boris Johnson. You don't help the party by criticising the leader in public. Criticise him behind closed doors. Now, I'm different because I'm on the outside. I can criticise Keir Starmer. I can criticise Boris Johnson. I can criticise whoever the hell I want. 
I'm not a member of the party. If I was a member of the party, I would have to keep my mouth shut. I could criticize him in internal meetings and tell him, he, you know, you're going in the wrong direction. You're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. If I'm a member, you're a member. Laura should be saying, even if she doesn't believe it in public, she should be saying, yeah, it was a very good speech. It was inspiring. We need to defeat Boris Johnson. We need to defeat the Tories. But she didn't do that. Why did she not do that? Because I think she doesn't give a crap about defeating the Tories. She, he, she actually cares more about tearing Keir Starmer down than getting rid of Boris Johnson. Maybe I'm wrong here. Let me know in the comments. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.